Okay, apparently this is some huge news that 100% needs to have a stupid reaction video, a developer update for the upcoming seasonal realm, Season of Discovery. This is about eight or nine hours ago now, so pretty much midnight UK time. Uh, Blizzard have shared a developer update regarding the new realms being launched for SOD. E. Blizzard explains that they are planning to launch with fewer realms, possibly faction balance limitations for PvP realms, as well as announcing realm names soon. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Fwoblies. Fwo, 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 Fwo. <laughs> uh, hi everyone, I'm known as Tom. I'm a senior producer of the World of Warcraft server and live ops team, and I want to share with you what we're preparing for the realms with the upcoming launch of Season of Discovery. You may have noticed with the launch of Hardcore Classic, there weren't a lot of realms. Uh, was Hardcore's launch a small experience? Heck no. Hardcore continues to be experienced by a huge number of players, and we've been thrilled to see so many players new and old joining in to experience World of Warcraft Classic in a new, exciting way. At the outset of any launch, our goal has always been to create healthy, enduring realms, and behind the scenes, we deployed tech in patch 1.14.4 that allowed us to significantly increase the realm capacity of a single Classic Era realm. With this higher realm capacity and fewer realms, we avoided the need for disruptive character migration options as realm populations ebbed and flowed. Have to say, it was pretty smooth in terms of like the launch and I mean, two servers is perfect by the looks of things anyway, population wise. You could pick either server and you'd be happy. For Season of Discovery, we're going to repeat this process. We will launch a handful of realms that can support a lot of players so you can feel confident in your choice of realm. Handful, okay. Please note we will actively manage the realm sizes at launch, so you may see sporadic queues as the population spreads out and we ensure realm sizes remain roughly equal. If Season of Discovery proves hugely popular, as we think it might, I think it's going to be fucking huge, we will of course be ready with traditional realms as needed. Uh, please look forward to the announcement on the realm names soon and the types as well. Okay, if we get an RP PvP, I've got to convince all the boys to go because that is where the fun and the magic happens. Another topic that comes up each time we talk about realms is faction balance on PvP realms. Okay, here we go, here we go. We've received a lot of feedback on this since 2019. No shit. We hear you and with Season of Discovery, we're going to try something new. This season's PvP realms will have been designed to maintain faction balance as they grow. Yes, this is actually happening. Yo. However, there is a potential cost to this faction balance that we want to make sure you're aware of. If one faction is significantly more dominant on a PvP realm, there is a very real likelihood that the faction may be selected to be temporarily locked or limited on that realm. That said, our overarching goal of Season of Discovery is to be a fun and smooth experience and we're prepared to change course if necessary. No, 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 this sounds good. This sounds very, very good. Your requests for faction balance have been heard loud and clear. This is a new direction for us and one that we're excited to try. <clears throat> okay, whoa, 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 I'm too hyped, too hyped. Again, this feature will only be turned on for our Season of Discovery PvP realms. Okay, so it's not going to be affecting any of the other realms. You will always be able to roll either faction as you wish on PvE realms. We encourage everyone who isn't committed to the challenges and difficulties of PvP to consider a non-PvP realm for Season of Discovery. And as an old WoW veteran myself, me too, I can tell you, playing on a balanced faction PvP realm can be a double-edged sword. There are awesome and fun new challenges that await, but also the potential for hindrances that you may not expect. Your favourite farming spots may be a bit more spicy than you're used to. Ah, oh, mate. Spice is the variety of life, you know? <laughs> yeah, boy. We think this season is going to be a lot of fun, and these changes will help ensure every realm enjoys a great experience all season long. And we're excited and looking forward to adding some extra seasoning to Season of Discovery's PvP realms. Okay, this is a huge W, man. Uh, right, so it's not going to be applied to PvE realms. It's going to be on PvP realms. They're going to release the types and the names soon. The PvP realms um, that are affected by the faction balancing, I think it's also going to apply to any RP PvP that we please, please need to get. And sounds like it's going to be as it goes. So if, you know, there's way too much alliance over Horde, alliance character creation will be locked and or limited and wait until Horde catches back up and then it'll get unlocked and then they can excel at their own paces. Um, I can't believe that they're actually doing this. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in one or two videos, uh, but like, 
There was just no way that I thought we were going to get this. It sounds like they really are actually using brain and listening and then doing the good things and it's just it's just the best time to be a wow fan i just can't fucking believe it season of discovery nine days now send it